Good morning, Columbus. Today is Wednesday after Pentecost. On this day in 1966, Mayor's High School in Chicago was dedicated by Cardinal Cody. Let us pray today for the students, faculty, and staff of Central Catholic High School in Lawrence, Massachusetts, and for Mayor's Schools and Ministries in Guatemala. Let us also pray for the students in our school who are experiencing personal difficulties. Let us also pray for Bella, who is battling cancer, and for her family during this time. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Almighty, ever-living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people, and bestow your peace on our times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. St. Marcia and Chabania, pray for us. Mary our good mother, pray for us. And let us remember to pray for each other. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Today on CCNN Life, Microsoft revealed their new Xbox yesterday. And Israel warned of grave consequences if Syria does not cease hostilities. CCNN Live starts now. Good morning, Columbus. You're waking up to CCNN Live. Good morning, Columbus. I'm Ileana ross Leighton, and you're waking up with CCNN Live. Look at that first take. All right. Good morning, Columbus. Today is Wednesday, May 22nd, 2013. I'm Andrew Brees. And I'm David Preston. These are your announcements for the day. The first day of spring soccer is today. Players should meet on the field at 3.30 and are to wear proper attire and sneakers. And now let's send it off to Joseph Piscatelli with the weather. Thanks, Andy. Good morning, Columbus. This is Joseph Piscatelli on this Wednesday morning. As you can see on the current conditions behind me, we're waking up to an average temperature of 73 degrees and a relative humidity of 90%. Let's go to today's radar. As you can see on the radar, a lot of scattered green, orange, and some yellow. So for the most part, do expect scattered showers on and off throughout the day with high chances of thunderstorms as it progress throughout the day. So in the late afternoon to early evening, do expect some thunderstorms. Let's go to today's five-day forecast. As you can see, we do have rain chances decreasing as we progress throughout the week. As temperatures do rise, a 40% chance of rain today, high of 87, low of 76. Thursday, a 30% chance of rain, high of 89, low of 76. Friday and Saturday, 20% chances of rain, highs of, eight, of 90 and 88, and lows of 74 and 75. And on Sunday, a 10% chance of rain, high of 87, low of 72. Stick around because after the break, Mario Perez has your news. Good morning, Columbus. Mr. Scholler here. Now, I know a lot of you out there don't even know who I am, but so many more do. The shirts are here, boys. If you ordered one and paid for it, your shirt is here. If you didn't and you're wondering now, how can I get one? Just got to come to A13, find me, and I'll, uh, I'll set you up. If uh, somehow you don't get what you want, we're going to do a reorder next week and uh, take care of the special order. And style, I haven't forgotten you. Your order will be in next week. Have a good day.
morning. Microsoft unveiled its answer to the PlayStation 4 and the Wii U, Xbox One. Xbox One was announced yesterday, and while little is radically different about the device's hardware, it does come with a Kinect camera and plenty of software differences. Xbox One will support watching live TV and Blu-ray movies, Skyping, web browsing, and of course, good old-fashioned video games. Microsoft also says that Smart Glass, the application designed to connect your Xbox with your tablet, will be a bigger part of the Xbox One. No release date or price has been given for the video game console, but Microsoft's president has assured fans it will be out sometime this year. Also, tensions rise between Israel and Syria over the Golan Heights. The Golan Heights, an area occupied in the Middle East by Israel, was fired on recently by the Syrian army. After a brief exchange of gunfire across a ceasefire line, the Israelis warned of severe consequences if Syria did not cease all hostilities in the Golan region. The skirmish comes following four different occasions on which the Syrians have fired across the line in the past few weeks. That's all the news. Have a great day, explorers. We at Rock Crushers Basketball Training encourage you to come in and bring your basketball skills and come and play. We do birthday parties for boys and girls and have basketball tournaments. We are located on 15420 Southwest 136th Street. Last name ever, first name greatest. Like a sprained ankle, boy, I ain't nothing to play with. Started off local, but thanks to all the haters, I know G4 pilots on a first name. My Yogurt Bliss, located at 1554 South Dixie Highway in Riviera Plaza, is a self-serve frozen yogurt shop. We have over 10 flavors and 40 toppings for you to choose from. After creating your yogurt combination, you can mix it in our special mixer. Experience the bliss of My Yogurt Bliss and visit us today. Welcome back, Columbus. For all you singers out there, you may want to avoid McDonald's as one woman claims it's affected her ability to sing. Joseph Cassiopo has more. Thank you, Andrew. Brooklyn gospel singer Jacqueline Simpson filed a lawsuit yesterday claiming that, in May of 2010, as she bit into her McDonald's chicken sandwich, she encountered a chunk of glass bigger than a penny. The 52-year-old describes her current situation as, quote, Now when I sing, I have a hoarse, rattly voice. I still sing alto, but I can't sing soprano like I used to, end quote. Simpson also works as a clerk for the state attorney general's office and now claims the incident is affecting her work, saying, quote, I have to make a lot of calls for work, and I have to tell people that I'm not a man. Before, that never happened, end quote. Meanwhile, Eminem's song publisher is suing Facebook and an ad agency over using one of the rapper's songs in an advertisement. Eight Mile Style, Eminem's publisher, filed a federal lawsuit on Monday, alleging that a 30-second Facebook ad copied music from Eminem's song, Under the Influence, in order to promote the new Facebook home app. 
Another complaint against the ad company says that Eminem's music was used to cater to Facebook's founder, Mark Zuckerberg's personal likes to create close ties. That's all in entertainment. I'm Joseph Cassiopo. Back to you. It was a busy day in the NBA as Game 2 of the Western Conference Finals and the NBA Draft Lottery both took place last night. To see what happened in those two events, we go to Danny Villanueva after the break. I'm Agent Carlos Luis, Christopher Columbus, graduating class of 1985, and these are my sons, Carlos and Franco. If you want to save money in your auto insurance, call me, Carlos Luis, State Farm Agent, at 305-663-2300, and get the Columbus discount. Thank you. Columbus, here's your sport for today. The NBA playoffs continued last night in San Antonio as the Spurs faced off against the Grizzlies in Game 2 of the Western Conference Finals. The first half was just like Game 1 as the Spurs were in control. Once again, the Grizzlies fought back and actually tied the game up late in the fourth quarter at 85. The game was extended into overtime as the Grizzlies had all the momentum. The proven veteran Tim Duncan scored six points in overtime to finally put away the Grizz and take a 2-0 series lead into Memphis. Tony Parker led the charge with a new playoff career high of 18 assists. Game 3 will be on Saturday at 9 p.m. The Miami Heat continue their playoff run tonight at 8.30 at the American Airlines Arena. The Cleveland Cavaliers have done it again. June 27th, for the second time in three years, the Cavaliers will be selecting first in the NBA draft. The last time the Cavs had the first pick was back in 2011 when they took eventual Rookie of the Year Kyrie Irving out of Duke. Since LeBron James' departure in the summer of 2010, the Cavs have been rebuilding. As owner Dan Gilbert points out, quote, We were hoping, regardless of what we pick we got, that this would be our last lottery, end quote. The Orlando Magic were the favorites for the number one spot, having a 25% chance, but had to settle for second. The Washington Wizards will select third, soon to be Charlotte Hornets fourth, and Phoenix Suns fifth. The United States Golf Association introduced a new rule, Rule 14-1B, which will, be banned, which will ban the, the use of anchored putting. Starting on January 1, 2016, players who use a belly putter or long putter will no longer be able to hold the butt end of the club against their bodies while making a stroke. The rule comes after four of the past six major championship winners, including April's Masters champ Adam Scott, used anchor putting to capture their majors. The USGA stressed a basic difference that is that the traditional putting stroke protects the challenge of the game as it involves free swinging and no secure points of attachment. While anchor putters such as Keegan Bradley, Adam Scott, and Ernie Ells showed their disapproval yesterday, several other notable golfers such as Tiger Woods, Roy McIlroy, and Arnold Palmer expressed their support. Vinny Del Negro will be out as head coach of the Los Angeles Clippers. 
This comes after a season in which the Lob City Clips had a 56 and 26 record while capturing the Pacific Division title. However, the team had an epic collapse which involved a drop from the number one seed in the Western Conference to a four seed and ultimately a first round exit despite being 2-0 up 2-0 against the Grizzlies. Many do believe that Del Negro will still be involved with the NBA next season due to his career record 210 and 184 record. That's it for me, Danny, up in the sports booth. Stay tuned. Do you want to learn how to dance? If so, come to the hotspot located at 15420 Southwest 136th Street. Here you will learn how to dance and will be provided with fun ways to stay in shape. You can bring your friends or family and take classes at flexible hours Monday through Saturday. So remember, if you want to get in shape, stay in shape, or just learn how to dance, come to the award-winning dance and production studio, The Hotspot. And we're back. Any faculty member who wishes to have a message aired on CCNN, please email your announcement to Columbus News on your Outlook address book. If you want school sports updates, you can follow us on Facebook at CCNN or on Twitter at CCNN Live. To receive Twitter updates on your phone, text follow space at sign CCNN Live to 40404. And from all of us here at CCNN, have a great day, Columbus.